I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. In this exercise, I'm going to push myself to make fast decisions in an exercise that I call Charleston Sprints. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be setup. We're going to alternate between being dealer and non-dealer, starting with dealer. I will get 14 tiles for the first one, and then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have flowers, dragons, west and south, three, five, pair of five cracks, two pair of fives in bams and a seven, eight. I would start with the fives. Maybe a like number hand, even a like number hand with dragons. Let's pass, let's pass south two, eight. We got a five, like numbers. Let's get rid of a three. How about three, six, seven? Flower, dragon, tiles to pass. We don't have to pick a hand, but I think dragons and like numbers looks good. So the dragon like number hand, five. Let's see, green we need. So for this hand, we only need one flower or one pair of flowers so we don't need this let's pass these three so we have cracks and red dragon and then five bams with green dragon no key ooh, ooh, ooh. we need to break that up a little i think so let's give up white dragon make that a rarity in my opinion we have tiles we can pass lap okay we've got four dis or five discards but we have no gaps no gaps for like numbers with fives pair flowers kong pair kong pair so we need to build up a little bit i would discard probably west first maybe hold the flower because there are two other hands in like numbers that use flowers. One is a quint. So I think I would hold the flower for a little bit and see if we can get maybe the other five, which I think we gave up, but that was because we drew in a pair of dragons for that second like number hand. Flower South Dragons, five, six, seven, eight. I think we would play consecutive. So I would probably focus five, six, seven. We could maybe play the one with the opposite dragons. Let's give up an eight. There's a nine. Ooh, and a dragon. Six, seven, eight, nine. We have tiles we can pass. We don't have to pick our range yet. There's a five. I would focus on those three. So let's give up the nine. There's an eight. We'll keep that. Here's a flower. Five, six, seven, eight, 
four numbers in a range with flowers. If we can get a four, we can play four, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. We have to make a choice. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's give up the dragon. Can't keep it all. There's a nine again. Let's go ahead and focus on numbers. Flower, three dragon. I don't think I would pass two. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Let's give up the nine. Oh, we got the nine. Let's pass these three. Oops. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine flowers. So I think what I would probably play here is second hand down three number range. We could also play sixth hand down five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. I would keep it all and discard those. Consecutive run, leverage these flowers. Hand two or hand six. Dragons, two, three, four, five, six, five, seven, eight, pair of sixes, and an eight. I think I would play two, four, six, eight here. Two, four, six, eight. There is an offsuit dragon hand. Two, four, six, eight. We would need this dragon. Two, four, six, eight potential. I would keep them all though. This is risky. Let's give up the dragon. Pass these three. There's a six, filled a gap. We have three tiles to pass. No keepers. So I would break this up, give up maybe the eight and focus on one suit or dots and bams. We got a two. Here's two, four, two, four, six, eight, sixes. There is a hand with two, eight and four, six in the middle. Let's go ahead and risk these. No keepers here. We're focused on bams and dots. Bams and dots and evens. No keepers here. Optional cross. Lap. So we have uh, uh, evens. Two, four, six, eight. If we can get the four dot in the middle, we might be able to play the closed hand. We have a gap of no flowers. I would hold these, but maybe focus on one suit. We have a pung, single, single pair. So maybe the third hand down, third hand down, or the concealed hand if we can get flowers. I would just gather two, four, six, eight, and dots and Bams, discard these first. Let's see how things went with the time. If you play at the category level and gather tiles that support your multiples or predominant pattern, you can make quick decisions. You really don't even have to look at the card until you run out of discards. I think those three sprints went pretty well. Let's check out the time. Sprint one, one minute, 52 seconds. Sprint two, one minute, 58. Sprint three, one minute, 47. And I think primarily it's because I stayed at the category level, gathered tiles to support the multiples, didn't pick a hand until I ran out of discards. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.